You're in there, pal! Ah, ah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the Game. I'm joking, it's Jurassic Live. Had you, had you fooled. And here I am, drinking from this mug. See, it says legend on it. See that? It also says, like, Happy Father's Day inside there. So, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether I've actually had a child. I just haven't told you about it. Mmm. You never know. Anyway, we are here today in Jurassic World Alive because there has been an update and substantially quite a good update, if I uh, do say so myself. Um, Luddy have added loads of new dinosaurs to the game and in fact, oh my god, is my phone downstairs? Oh my god, it's been a terrible video. Never mind, James left it at home. Hey, but they've added, I'll put up the list of the, all the new dinosaurs. I'm sure I can find it. Uh, so they've added like Stiggy Moloch, uh, Stiggy Moloch Gen 2, uh, Irritator, and the thing about Irritator is Irritator is actually um, part of a, you can only get it in the battle arenas, sort of their uh, DNA chests. So not only that, they've also changed um, a lot of the, um, the aesthetics of the game, the way it looks. So let's see if we can get 19s of this slow Ophicodon over and over. Oh, that was a dismal. There we go. We haven't, we haven't done like a capture, capture of a dinosaur in like a long time. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Can we get to 180? Oh God, not with those two nines. And another nine. 137. Could have been better, but hey ho, what you gonna do? So if we have a look at the new dinosaurs, as you can see, I've got quite a bit. When I came here, I actually bumped into a T-Rex and a Ankylosaurus. No, the Ankylosaurus escaped me. Bumped into a T-Rex and uh, a new dinosaur, which I managed to unlock. And I mean like a legendary dinosaur, so a hybrid. <laughs> Little spoilers. But, um, so what they've decided to do now is, you can see right there, they've ch just bit my tongue. <laughs> they changed um, the three hour and eight hour uh, DNA things. So they look a bit different. Um, they haven't changed the legendary or the rare uh, DNA things. I'm not too sure why that is actually. Uh, but they've changed these and they've made the prices better. Uh, basically, when you open any of these, you are guaranteed coin. Um, actually, you are always guaranteed coin. What am I talking about? Anyway, no, when you uh, defeat a battle event, that's right, when you defeat an opponent, you win um, like amount of cups of trophies and you also win uh, regular coin, which is great. Um, but the thing is with the, like with that one, you now don't get any rare DNA. I mean, uh, epic DNA, which does suck a little bit, but at the same time to counter that, um, these eight hour DNAs would usually give you about five epic DNAs. They give you a minimum of 30 DNA now, epic DNA. So that's really, really good. So I can only imagine what this one will give you. No, 252. Uh, it could be better actually, <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna open this one. So this is the new eight hour one So seven and a coin nothing new there really uh, 15 of that 360 of this Will we get any new? Oh, a Margasaur. I'll take that and the epic is 50 tier. Look at that 50. That's crazy. So they I think Ludia have now decided to balance um the amount of epic DNA you get, because to get a legendary, it takes so long. So, how about we look at all the new dinosaurs that are out? So I think, um, like since the second update, I haven't bumped into a single Woohoosaurus. Woohoo, I mean, I would bump into these all the time, I'd also bump into Proceratosaurus. Although I have seen Proceratosaurus uh, recently, uh, but since this update, Proceratosaurus is now no longer, uh, you can't catch it in the, in the wild. You have to get it through the battles. Um, the same as Irritator. So look, are you ready? Are you ready? Look at all these! So these are all the new ones, as well as like a new hybrids and new dinosaurs that I haven't seen just yet. So as far as new hybrids go, um, is that a Sukumimus? Yes! Oh my god, yes, Sukumimus has a hybrid. I knew it. I've been catching that guy. So it seems like all the dinosaurs that you were like, oh, why are you left looking that up? It has no hybrid. Suck it. <laughs> they all have hybrids now. So, what is this one? Was that the Sukumimus? That's the Sukumimus. Uh, this one's a new one. So, I'm wondering if any Gen 2s have, um... Oh, look at that! A Stegodusus. A, a Stegodus. Stegodus. So, that's a level 15 Stegosaurus. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what's this thing? It's gotta be a Sukumimus. No, it's Spinatar Raptor and Caprasuchus. Oh my god! 
Now you really get to choose what air hybrid you want. Because there's, there's, this is Pyroraptor or Utahraptor? It's Pyroraptor level 15, and I think that's Irritator level 15. So that's going to be crazy. Uh, yeah, as well as, like, loads of new dinosaurs, or loads of dinosaurs that were in this, have different abilities now. So the Stegoceratops no longer has Velocity Strike, where it can charge up its speed. It has the Triceratops Greater Stun, which makes more sense, because that's what the Triceratops had. Um, so let's have a look at any new ones. There's this one as well. This looks like the Dinocheris or Therizinosaurus. Oh, and Indominus Rex, what? <laughs> oh, okay, Indominus Rex and um, an Erlecosaurus, I think that is. Mag, what? Magnepretor. So that is Dimetron, I was going to say Dimetron. And that other hybrid. So there's loads to choose from. That's great, because the thing is, I've been catching so many Dimetrodons, and I've been thinking, what am I going to do with all this DNA? Look at that, 3,000 DNA. What am I going to do with it? But now I know that I need, like, a level 20 in order to get that hybrid. So, uh, like, I, I got to the point where I wouldn't capture um, Dimetrodons. Whereas now I probably will, because I, I now know I need all that. So these, these are the few new creatures I managed to catch today. Uh, so there's new crocodilian. This is the the pure Asaurus League Mansion too. <laughs> can we get a zoom in on him? Can we? Can we not zoom in at all? <laughs> nope, can't zoom in. What's its uh, stats? Yeah. Also, the graphics for um, the uh, attacks have changed as well. So pinning strike and expose weak start. Uh, weak start. Weak spot. Deal one times damage. Target vulnerable this turn. Next three turns. I don't know what that does yet. I think maybe they're more weak to critical chance, but I honestly have no idea what that exactly means. So uh, we'll go with this guy. Is this Irritator? It, it might not be actually. I can't remember who this is. I think I got this in um, Irritator Gen 2. Oh wow, he, wow, those are some tiny feet. <laughs> it's the opposite of like the Mattel and Hasbro problem with the huge feet. What the heck? How could that thing even balance? So this is a common dinosaur. Um, I think I got this in um, one of those like uh, battle um, DNA chests thing. So, and uh, ooh, wow, okay, that's only ten. Hell, let's keep going. And uh, it's got twenty percent critical chance. It's got a decent amount of speed as well. But what's its attacks? It's a common someone expecting to ready to crush. Increased damage fifty percent and critical chance. Uh, plus thirty percent for the next three turns. Ooh, so you get like a 50% chance on that turn, but then for the next three turns, you get 30% chance. So that's really good, especially with the 20% critical anyway. That gives you a 50% chance of getting the crit. And this guy, is it Dino? No, Sarkazuka's there. Ooh, who's another common. So we're starting to see crocodilians come into the game. 124, 322, 20% chance of critical. Again, that's really high. Um, also, there's, there's been like so many balances with this game. It, it's really cool. Um, so Ludia have really paid attention to uh, all the battles and stuff like that. The, so these are all really good things, right? The only downside at the moment is that they have dramatically reduced the amount of supply drops. Uh, on main roads, there used to be like three in a row or four in a row. Now there's nothing. Main roads are completely barren. Um, as far as I'm aware. So what I did um, was basically, I took my dog out for a walk not too long ago. It's bloody awful because there's green flies everywhere. So like I started running with them and then I needed to breathe quite heavily. And I felt like I was eating these flies like, <coughs> oh, <laughs> wanting to take breaths, but then trying not to die. Um, kind of an annoying thing, really. So we're gonna bring the mic even closer. Yes, yes, very good. So we're gonna level up some dinosaurs. So we're gonna level up the T-Rex. We need it to level 15 in order to make Indominus. So that's 6,000 DNA. There you go, 111 extra health and a little bit extra attack. Whoa, we're almost there. Now, because of all of this, these new upgrades and the easier way to get epics, uh, especially with the chests, um, it's gonna be a lot easier to get these legendaries. But also, I want to say that Indoraptor is actually in the game. If we get T-Rex to level 15, we can see a hologram Indoraptor. But I'll, I'll put it up. Is it there or is it there? I think it's... I don't know. I think, I think it's there. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'll put it there. Uh, somebody got, like, footage of the Indoraptor. And it, like, drags its tail. And it, you need, like, a level 20 Velociraptor and Indominus Rex in order to get it. So... 
Man, oh, that thing looks crazy. <laughs> so we'll level up that. And also, yeah, let's level up Gorgasuchus to level 15. Um, and I think we now need um, a level... Oh, we can definitely... So what we'll do is we'll fuse this guy because I got so many of... Um... Oh, it's only, it's only 50 now? Oh, it used to be 70 to fuse. So it looks like they made the uh, reduction on that. That's really good because I was getting sick of how expensive it was, actually. So I'm going to do this an extra three, no, four times. Hopefully, I want to get a 90, though. Um, and I think we need, like, a Megalosaurus at level 15, which is really crazy. Uh, also, they've added a new battle arena at the very top. And it's, like, the Isla Sauna Marshes or something like that. So last one. Come on, 90! Ooh, 50, not bad, I'll take that. Uh, so what else? We That's a Megalosuchus, so I think we need level 15 Megalosaurus. Now, I did get quite a few of these, so we'll level it up to level 13. Uh, I think we may be to get level 4. Ah, damn it, close. Close, but no sugar. Um, also, we're gonna level up Ankylosaur, because we need that level 15 to make a hybrid as well. Um, also, I realize my Eupocephalus is kind of, like, absolutely useless now, and so is its hybrid. Like, the only thing that Eupocephalus had going for it was its 40% um, defense. And this is the hybrid, and... Oh, he does have 40% armor! Oh, huh. That's interesting. Because I, I was using him, like, last night when the update just went live, and it was awful, so, so bad. Does Oranosaurus have a hybrid now? Damn it, still no hybrid! Oh, man. Um, so we're gonna collect the free freebie. Now you can get epic DNA in this. Uh, I got it once. I got like nine T-Rex DNA, I think it was. Um, there you go, nine common. Uh, also, I just want to say, um, they've also updated the way your range is with catching dinosaurs. So uh, hopefully I'll put up an image because um, at, at 200 feet or 200 meters away, you can catch a dinosaur if you're a VIP member. So, like, that'll be the distance. And then at 150, you can catch it regular. Now, if you're a member and your battery only lasts that long, it's not worth it. So, hopefully, if you are a member, like a VIP, and you are able to catch a dinosaur that far away, you get, like, double the length of time. Because otherwise, there's no point. So, they, um, another great thing, it, like, that just shows how Ludio actually listened to the community this time. Because batteries are gone. There's no longer a need for batteries. I never ran out of batteries. It was darts I ran out of. And even then, it was just another roadblock. So, batteries are gone. Thank you, Ludia. Also, the dinosaurs I've bumped into, just so, just so you could add different ones, is Dimetrod. I bumped into loads of Dimetrodons. I bumped into loads of... Uh, let's have a look. Because we can go through our res. I bumped into loads of Dimetrodons. I bumped into loads of... Um, Edmontosaurus. And I don't think Edmontosaurus has a hybrid. So, stop that. Get rid of that one. <laughs> uh, I bumped into loads of Kool-Aids. Uh, cool uh, cool as Triceratops, I bumped into loads of... What I want to bump into is friggin' Postosuchus. Like, where are they? I, I can't even find a single one. And uh, not only that, but there's, like, Argentinosaurus I don't bump into. Um, I don't bump into Tijongosaurus. I don't bump into Nodosaurus. I don't bump into Woohoosaurus, but then again, it doesn't really have a hybrid. Oh, yes! I got a Kentosaurus the other day. So I'll get that up to level 12. It does have a hybrid, so there is a reason to level that up. And it has loads of attack, actually. I never even noticed that. Um, so, I, I, do we need Spinatar Raptor? Well, we could get the Spina to Sutures. There's just, there's like too much choice now, like with Velociraptor. Uh, there's the Indominus Rex. We click on the Indominus Rex, and there's the Eldominus, but we do need the uh, T-Rex in order to unlock the Indoraptor. Um, so I'm not going to level up Stegoceratops. There's no need to do that, but let's get the rare. Uh, so this is before the update, so be interested to see if it's got irritated DNA in it. Uh, so this will only give you rare. So there's 3,000 coin, not bad. A lot of Stegosaurus. Gonna need that if we need a, need a level 15 uh, Stegosaurus. Um, Monolosaurus Gen 2. Gorgosaurus. That's pretty good. I need that. And... Oh, yeah! Amargosaurus! Yeah, definitely need that. Let's have a look at Amargosaur. I think it's got another hybrid I need to get. I think there's two. Yeah, Giga Spikosaurus. So, I'm actually tempted to make my way towards that. Every time I face this thing, it's absolutely nuts. Um, but the thing is, at the same time, none does, like, it also has another hybrid. So, do I could get this one. This is also a legendary. Um, 
So, I don't know. Do I start? Oh, this is too much choice. Anyway, anyway, let's do some battles. I am apparently rank 77, which is very good. So, uh, yeah, let's jump into some battles and see what we face up against. So, I don't know if this game is fully released yet, but it's almost there. If it's not fully released, it's here. Also, like, dinosaurs get an introduction now when they come into the battle arena. So, it's like, Nundagosaurus, which is quite cool. Because usually, like, it never told you what you were facing up, up against. Like, Nundagosaurus, Majundasuchus. So, yeah, like, they look so much better. They look like just that extra, extra added polish. So, we're going to go for the decelerating impact here. Uh, he's going to put up short defense. There's a new move. There's long defense now that Ankylosaur has, which lasts for like five turns. Also, the T-Rex now has a bite that not only goes through armor, but also goes like destroy shield. So that's really good. Um, also, other dinosaurs are weak to other ones. Like um, every time a Ceratopsian comes like, up against a raptor, they lose attack. So there's like loads to learn about. It's just like, it's really cool though. I love it. It's just like taking, it's like Pokemon but with dinosaurs and taking it to the next level. I really do like it. It's that kind of complexity. All we need now, Ludia, is some sort of like gym, like gym battles, have like territories. Um, that would be really cool. I don't know exactly how you'd work that out. I know that Ludia are like, now you have a, a live um, leaderboard. So, oh God, there we go. So I don't know how accurate that is because I'm always skeptical when it comes to these sorts of things. Um, Ooh, he's got. Ooh, I tell you what, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go for Utah Raptor here, because I would have went for something else. So if you click and hold, it tells you how much damage it'll do to them. But also, if you click and hold on that dinosaur, it tells you what their attacks are. So we're gonna go for the pounce now. So that would do like 1,200, 1,600. So there you go, 800 damage because he halved it because of that short defense. Now it depends what comes in. Oh God, there's the tier. What level? 12. We should. We should survive one in, so I'm gonna go for the critical uh, chance. Let's see what we get here. Oh, damn. Oh, there it is. Defense shattering impact. That break shield. Oh, but we did it. Utah, just like Jim Kirkland said, Utah Raptor. One would have laid it out on that T-Rex and bam, there you go. We'll call this, uh, Utah Raptor is now called Jim. Because <laughs> it probably, oh. Hello, Mr. Ankylosaurus. So we'll bring in, so we'll bring in Stegoceratops because like the graphics on it now look so good. Like the ambient occlusion is, it's even, it's lighter, but it just, I don't know, it makes it pop a little bit more. So I don't know what is going on with the regular hit. I think that's a glitch at the moment, but now at the right, there's no longer um, a velocity impact. So you gain speed. It's just like a greater impact, so. With Stegoceratops, you will no longer really be faster than your, you know, who you're facing unless you do that, the slowing impact. Um, so we'll go with this. I think it has like a 60%. The greatest stunning strike has 60% to stun. Didn't get it there. Okay. And then this is a new move. Vulnerable strike. So it just constantly makes you vulnerable as long as it keeps on hitting you. Um, again, I don't know what vulnerable does. It doesn't say. It just says makes target vulnerable. So instant invincibility, but that doesn't mean he's immune to being stunned. So this could work in our favor here. Damn it, he didn't even get stunned. And the thing is, right, I can't, I can't select regular minimal stunning strike because of this glitch. But uh, Sinceratops, which is down there, now no longer has a regular strike. He has stunning strike as well. So Ludia have made the decision to make every Ceratopsian's regular attack uh, like a stunning strike. So are we going to get it? Don't even get that. What is going on? Um, so uh, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fodder off um, uh, Stegoceratops here. I'm going to fodder him off and hopefully Sinceratops should be able to take it out. I'm hoping. Yeah, he's going to go first. Is he going to kill me? Oh, no, he doesn't. But I'll be dead next time anyway. Unless we get the 5% stun chance. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping. Um, you know, we might as well try that. Long protection. There you go. I was hoping he'd go for instant invincibility because then there would be a chance of me stunning him and going, like, and getting a hit off. Right, okay. So here we go. So there it is. Minimal stunning strike instead of regular strike. Um, I would love to go down the list of all the dinosaurs and tell you all the updates, but that would probably take forever. <laughs> okay, this is good. We're, we're, like, a little bit quicker. Um, so, that's interesting. Sinceratops is quicker than Stegoceratops. 
So we're gonna go for that. Hopefully get the stun. Oh my god, what is going on? Not getting a single stun. This time we will, however, because um, instant charge. Act first, deal one time da one times damage, guaranteed stun. Oh no! Okay. Oh, this just got interesting. I think we may have lost actually. So there's the stun. Um, well, now we got to do our minimal. Hopefully, get another stun. Come on! Damn it! Oh, are we fit? Are we quicker? We're quicker! We could do this! Yes! Yes! And we get the stun. Oh, coming in at the end there, and the instant charge, and there it is. That was close. Ooh. There you have it. So we will get some coin for this as well as um, a new thing to open. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Is that a... I think that's a... Um, that's a three hour. So depending on what kind of prize you get, that also determines what amount of coin you get as well. So if you get like a, a legendary one, you'll get a crud ton of coin as well. Um, oh, I just realized his profile picture is the Indoraptor. Okay, who should we send out? Oh, level, level new, level 15 Gorgasuchus. How about we do that? Heck yeah, let's go. And now we just wait for them, yes. Because the thing is with app games, they're determined to make you think you're facing off against real people when really you're not. Um, oh, he's got one as well, what level? Oh, 13, my boy. You're about to witness the rampage. Also, when uh, your dinosaur does the battle animation, if it does like a light, like a lighter bite. Um, that means that it's going one hit. That's amazing. Uh, and that means it's going to get a critical. So um, if it's like a little bite animation, then it's probably not going to get the crit. But if it's a big one, you'll get the crit. Just a little things that I've noticed. So let's go for the increased attack. Gorgasu just going to wipe the floor here. Oh, armor piercing impact. Oh God. Okay. Um, please tell me you got rampage back. Yes. Okay. He is screwed. There's nothing he can do. He can switch out, but he's going to lose. Um, but unless I'm quicker than the next dinosaur that comes in, I can't see me um, uh, surviving. There it is. How much? See, that was a little bite. The 2,400. That's insane. So already 2-0. And, uh, oh, Ina suits now. He's definitely going to be quicker. Oh, no, we're quicker. So we now no, long no longer have bleeding attack. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. So, I'm gonna switch in T-Rex. I'm gonna switch in T-Rex here. Minimal stunning strike. Okay, he didn't go for ferocious strike, so that's good. Let's go for this one. He's gonna be quicker. He's probably gonna go for ferocious. If I was him, that's what I would do. There it is. Ferocious strike. Okay. 1,170? What, are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's a lot of damage. Now, we're probably gonna die here. Uh, but that's okay, because we're going to switch in Pyroraptor. And we should just go for the pounds. I'm not going to go for the armor piercing in case he switches. Good. Oh, there it is! It switches to a T-Rex level 14. Decreased attack. So Pyroraptor is like default. It must be like um, a passive ability. He just lowers. If Like a dinosaur switches in to Pyroraptor, its attack gets lowered. I'll have to check his stats actually, because that might be a thing. So what are we going to get this time? Oh, what? <laughs> are you kidding me? We got a legendary. Oh, yes. No way. Takes 24 hours. But that proved that that whole thing I said about coin is bull. So don't listen to me ever. <laughs> oh, no. How much is it to open straight away? Well, apparently, I actually have enough to speed up the legendary thing. So... We, we're going to be impatient like the band chat that I am. And we're going to speed up reducing my only box down to... Oh, did I just get a crud ton of coin? Did that just go up? I feel like my coin just went up. Okay, anyway, here we go. What are we going to get? A level 9 legendary. 9,000 coin. That's good. 2,000 Velociraptor. Gotta need that because you need like Velociraptor for Indominus and Indoraptor. Um, oh, a Lithorax. Of course, of course I get Lithorax. Lithornax, sorry. No, Dasaurus. Need that, actually. That's good. Um, Deplacalus 2. Okay, last two cards. Is it, they're gonna be legendaries, or epics, sorry. If I could have anything, a T-Rex. Oh, a Pyraptor would be good now that I know I can sort of do that. What is it? It is 
Ankylosaurus, that's good. And Modelophosaurus, that's it, Modelophosaurus. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, oh, but it's only 74. Oh, are you kidding me? Damn. Oh, but we did, hold on. We, di we do get to level up Ankylosaur one more, so that's good. Um, because he's on our team. 124, 28 extra attack, not really a great deal, but one more level, and we can start working towards those hybrids. So let's do another battle, shall we? Okay, here we go. Ooh, oh, there's the Ankylosaur, but, oh, which one do I need to use? They're all, well, 14, 14, 15, uh, let's go for the newly, newly upgraded Stegoceratops. Oh, against Ehrlichosaurus, okay. Um, I'm gonna reduce his speed. Oh, Rampage has times two attack already. <laughs> Even with the armor. Hopefully we can kill this though. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm almost 100% assured we can kill it. So I'm gonna go for minimal uh, attack here. Uh, I'm gonna save my greatest stunning strike and my stunning strike for whatever comes in next. That's what I'm hoping. Ooh, Nodosaurus. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot we could upgrade Nodos, like our hybrid that's there. The um, the Nodop Nodopatosaurus. We could upgrade it because we just got Nodosaurus DNA. Uh, so I think he got stunned there. So let's go for the next one. Stunning impact. Go on, get it again. Get it again. Damn it. Okay, so there's vulnerable. Right. I remember last time this thing had armor piercing though. So let's go for minimal. Ooh, bam! Didn't get it. Short defense. It's not gonna kill me. Oh, never mind. It killed me. <laughs> right, okay. So, Ankylosaur's quicker. Um, but you know what? I'm gonna send up this guy, the Nod Nodopatosaurus, because I'm gonna put up my shield. It's not gonna kill him. But I just wanted, like, if out of all those dinosaurs, I can set up with no Depedosaurus. So there's 201. Um, I'm gonna go for the armor piercing now. And then whatever comes in next... Oh, there's his armor piercing! Luckily, I got the shield. Um, but it's not gonna save him. Because he's dead. I could have set up with Ankylosaurus, if I'm being honest. But we're gonna get one extra shield go from this. There we go. Okay, so we're going to decelerate him here. Wounding strike. I think there was something about Spinosaurus and Sukumimus if had their wounding strike nerfed, I think. So there we go. Taking them below half. And please tell me I can go for something. I think I'm only going to have strike. Oh, no, there's the shield. That's good. That's good. Oh, it even switched. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we can get our shield up. There you go. So we've got armor, we've got shield on the go. He doesn't have a shield crushing attack. Although 345, that's quite a bit. But it's over now. I think we can take one. Oh, adrenaline pulse. Oh, okay. Not bad. So, I mean, we're going to do more damage to him here. So this is actually good for us. So 804. And then, unfortunately, we're going to have to go for a regular strike. There, that's what I was worried about, actually. This thing. Oh, God. And he's going to be quicker now. I think I've just got to fodder him off. i got to fodder off Nodopetosaurus. There's no way he's surviving. Nah, stunning impact. There it is. Probably going to die. Down it goes. 1,300. That's a lot of damage. Um, so I'm going to go for T-Rex here. And just go for that crushing bite. Please don't get the stun. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> if it got it, though. Man, that would have been annoying. There you have it. And that is going to have to wrap this video. I'm probably going to grind and get some more books for the next episode. And also catch like loads more dinosaurs. And hopefully in the next episode, I mean, we're going to have loads of new dinosaurs to open. But I can work on a legendary. Don't know if it's going to be Indominus Rex. But I mean, fingers crossed. If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.